हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टॉक्स ऑन होम्योपैथी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज नेम्ड एज द बेनिफिशियल ब्रिज कोलाबोरेटिव रेपोरेटरी वी ऑल नो दिस रेपोरेटरी इन सिंपल टर्म्स एज बी बी सी आर बोगर्स बोनी हुसन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड रेपोरेटरी नाउ repertory we all know it is an index of symptoms of materia medica it gives a group of medicines indicated for a case from which we are going to find out our similimum within short period of time and the most of the repertories are based on some kind of philosophies so why this repertory and why i call this repertory as a beneficial bridge and collaborative repertory let us discuss and let us try to understand the repertory uh, at a length now we all know the history of repertory this dr boni gosen uh, was the first compiler of a different different repertory and he is most of the repertories were being used uh, at the time Uh, half of the 19th century where the not much repertories were published by uh, any homeopathic physician until the dr kant was published his own repertory uh, the homeopathic physicians are used to with uh, dr boni gosen's different repertory but there are some controversies uh, arose with uh, boni gosen's pioneering work Uh, which is called as a therapeutic pocket book and then uh, people started to shift towards the use of dr kent's repertory but after some period of time when dr boger entered into homeopathic field he uh, understood the boni gosen's work and he tried to remove the controversial aspects and controversial points in dr boni hussain's philosophy and repertorial works and for that reason dr boger compiled this repertory which is known as a boni hussain's characteristic and repertory now this repertory bbcr is a compilation of different works of dr boni hussain with addition of some philosophical aspects uh, found by dr c m boger The repertory published in 1905, containing 464 medicines. Now, Boni Gosen's characteristic repertory has seven fundamental concepts. The first is doctrine of complete symptom and concomitant, doctrine of pathological generals, doctrine of causation in time, clinical rubrics, evolution of remedies, fever totality, and concordance. Let us briefly. go through with all this seven fundamental concepts the first is complete symptom and concomitant according to dr boni gosen every symptom is going to have a four different components location senses and modalities and concomitants so we are going to divide the symptom into this four different components doctrine of pathological generals was given by dr boger himself this is the pathological phenomena appearing in different different parts or system of the body which are a true reflection of a constitution of any individual doctrine of causation and time boger and boni gosen gave adequate place and importance for causative modalities and time modalities in their totality fever totality this is a unique uh, thing which we are going to have in this repertory the fever totality and also the chapter on a concordances let us discuss with the fever totality is that fever totality containing a uh, different different rubrics and different conditions related to fever and this fever totality was taken up by the taken from the book of a uh, repertory book by dr boni gosen which is named as a repertory of intermittent fever and concordance is also uh, taken from the 
concept or the philosophy of Dr. Bodhibhusan's repertory. Now let us discuss the plan and construction. As we all know that if you want to use the repertory in a better way, we must understand the plan and construction and where and how the symptoms being converted into rubrics and how the rubrics are presented in a repertory. So broadly this repertory is being divided into three different parts. The first part is introductory part. The second part is materia medica part and the third is repertory proper part. Introductory part contains uh, some small small topics. We will first have a foreword by Dr. H. A. Roberts, then the preface part. Then we have uh, some topics on the use of repertory, choosing the remedy, the repetition of dose and the homeopathic prognosis. This is how it is given. You can go through with the books and you can just have idea regarding those topics. Another unique feature of this repertory is Materia Medica, which contains 140 medicines starting from Aconite, ending to the last medicine is Zincum Metallicum, with some additional explanation of duration of action of remedies and important hints regarding your medicine and prescription. This is how the Materia Medica portion has been given. Every medicine is divided into different uh, sub-chapters or subsections, starting from mind, vertigo, head and all the symptoms are given wonderfully. The third part, repertory proper part, being considered as a part 2 in this repertory. There are total 53 chapters. First chapter is mind and last chapter is concordance. Now let us discuss the how the chapters are being given and being uh, constructed in this repository. So every chapter you will find six different sub chapters or sub section. Okay. The first every chapter is going to start with a location or some general rubrics related to that particular chapter or that particular condition. Okay. Now. Location is going to be followed by a rubrics of sensation. At many places, you will find the horizontal line separating the location rubric and the sensation rubric. But in many chapters, this line is missing and then you have to consider that location is going to end and the sensation rubrics are going to be started in alphabetical order. Okay. The location rubrics contains different subdivisions of part, some extension, some sides, etc. Okay, here, you can see in this photo, there is a chapter I. You have rubrics, canthi, optic nerve, glands, and there is a one horizontal line, and the next rubric is aching. So there is a separation between location and senses. Another example is there is a chapter urinary organs. We have subsection kidneys, kidneys in general, left, right and we have a horizontal line. In next column, second column, we have a rubric aching. Same thing, there is a third example, chapter of upper extremities. You will find a horizontal line and the rubric aching in arms is starting. Okay, so these are the simple things. The location rubric starts with in general. Then you will have a parts, extension, etc. And after that, the sensation are going to be start with the alphabetical order. So we will find first alphabet A rubrics considered with the senses. Next subsection is a time. You will find the time divisions like daytime, morning, forenoon, noon, midnight, night, etc. There is no specific hours mentioned unlike the Kent repository. This is the most uh, unique feature of this repository. 
you will not find the time aggravating modality or ameliorating modality as 9 am as 2 pm as 3 pm you will just find the phases of time day time morning night etc okay here you can just go through it there is a chapter eruption we have a time morning forenoon afternoon okay same thing we have a chapter abdomen and the same subsection is a time modality next subsection is of aggravation where you will find the all the aggravating modalities given in alphabetical order you can go through with this chapter chest heading is there aggravation and you will have a different conditions of aggravating modalities next is a subsection of uh, amelioration here you will find all the rubrics of ameliorating modality okay. this is a chapter lower extremities we will have a alphabetical arrangement of all that modalities now one thing is i just want to make out over here is that time modalities time chapter is going to give you a only aggravating rubrics related to a time factors if you want to find out the amelioration you have to go and you have to refer the subsection of amelioration and you will find the time and amelioration over here as you can see over here we have a chapter lower extremities subsection amelioration and the rubric is night amelioration is go given in this ameliorating sex okay next most important part concomitants this is the biggest controversial or some confused entity of boni gusen and bogar's theory or totality of symptom so in this repertory dr bogar has tried to rectify the error where the concomitants are scattered in different different chapters so he tried to form a separate sub chapter or sub section on a concomitant and in most of the chapters you, you will find the sub section of a concomitants given very nicely and containing all the rubrics here we can have some concomitants the chapter is nose coriza we have a concomitants over here a general concomitant and also some specific concomitants the chapter teeth concomitants anxiety cheeks chill fever chill okay like this again some more detailed concomitants are given in the first is there is a chapter menstruation concomitants before menses concomitants after menses concomitants at start of menses okay. and last number 6 sub section is of a cross reference now cross reference is like uh, where we are going to find out a similar rubrics or a synonymous rubrics the cross references are going to help us to locate a similar right kind of a rubric in repertory so in this repertory you will find three type of cross references are given the first is you will have a separate sub section of cross references at the end of concomitant there are a total list of cross references are given in every chapter or most of the chapters where you will find uh, cross references of different different uh, rubrics also 
So cross reference of aggravation, amelioration also we will find with the separate headings where you have to locate just uh, this separate uh, subheadings and you are going to locate your cross reference for aggravating or ameliorating modalities. Okay. Next cross reference you are going to have in this repertory is given in a chapter with rubric with the heading of company you can see over here there is a rubric is there active and we have a compare hurry okay so this is a not a synonym but this is a similar or sorry this is a similar kind of a cross reference okay and if you are supposed to locate the rubric in a separate chapter or in another chapter there you will find the rubric is written with a C the name of chapter and a name of rubric okay so let us just briefly go through with the what we discussed So every chapter is going to have six different uh, subsections. So we'll just take an example of a chapter of mind. The mind chapter that is not going to have any location. So we will have an alphabetical list of all the sensation. Then we have a separate subsection of time. Then we'll have a separate subsection of aggravating modality, aggravation, the list of alphabetical rubrics then amelioration and the last is cross reference and concomitance okay so most of the chapters are being divided into this separate different six subsections and you are supposed to find out your desired rubric in these chapters now how the rubrics are being arranged so in every sub chapter or subsection the main rubrics are given in bold letters and the sub rubrics are given in italics letters with one indentation below the main rubric okay now most of the rubrics are start with a one particular rubric in general and then you are going to find out a different location parts or different uh, sensation related to that chapter okay another thing what I would like to mention over here is at many places we will find abbreviated letters and mostly in the rubrics of location we will find there are one letter written in a bracket and those letters are abbreviated for the name of that particular rubric like if you see a chapter of head you will find a location vertex we will have a v written in a bracket where we have a temples of a rubric of temples we will have a capital t written in a bracket what does it mean we will have just a example see here is a chapter head we have a rubric forehead and it is written capital F in bracket same with rubric temples and there is written capital T so this means temples we are going to narrate or we are going to express with a letter T so T now is going to become an abbreviation for temples for this particular chapter of head. So this abbreviation is going to help us to locate a particular sub rubrics in same chapter. As per example, here we have a main rubric or sub rubric band or bandage or hoop like filling around head and then there are sub rubrics are given which is just 
written in an abbreviated form. So F double dot you have a list of medicine. O you have list of medicine. S we have list of medicine. So that means if you want to find out to band around forehead, you are going to locate or you are going to select this rubric abbreviated abbreviated with just a F. T stands for tempus. Okay, so this is how we are going to locate the sub rubrics. Same here, we have a chapter eyes, subsection eyelids, upper and lower. So here we can easily see the upper. Then we have abbreviation denoted as a O, and for lower there abbreviated denoted as a U. So whenever you are going to search another any particular rubric. We'll go with the same thing. Okay, so this is a rubric biting O L. So this is left upper eyelid. Biting pain left upper eyelid. Okay, so how in this manner we are going to locate or we are going to understand this. Then again, the sides are given with medicine also. Then you all, here you can see is a, a slip filling and with anagardium in bracket we have a small L. So this means it is denoting the side affinity. Gradation of medicines now. Like the Boning Hussain's repertory therapeutic pocketbook, here we are going to have a fair five different grades of medicine first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, or five marks, four mark, three mark, two mark, and one mark. So, five mark medicine or first grade medicine denoted in a denoted with a capital letters, simple capital letters. So, in this Rubric mind in general, you will find Alzheimer's, Lachesis, Anagardium in capital letters. The fourth mark medicines or second grade medicines are written in a bold letters Mercurius, Natremure, etc. Then three mark medicines are written in a italics. Ignatia, Hepar, like this. Then, four grade or two mark medicine are written in a simple Roman letters. And the fifth grade or one mark medicine are denoted with a simple Roman letters with bracket. So, here you can see rubric is there, genitalia, right. And that is in bracket, we are having medicines like digitalis or natrum car. So those all are one mark medicine or fifth grade medicine for this repertoire. Okay. Some ch special chapters are there. The first are appetite. You will find a separate chapter in this repertory with the rubrics of diminished appetite, or increased appetite, want of appetite. And the rubrics of aversions, desires, and hungers. And here is a desire rubric, and you will find all the food items. Then we have a chapter of thirst where we are going to find out the, all the rubrics of thirst, thirst increased, decreased, and all. Then we have a chapter of taste. Next, most important chapter of this repertory is sensations and complaints in general. So, where you have a general sensation or a general complaint, according to Bonnie Hussain's theory, you are going to locate those all sensations and complaints in this chapter. 
separate chapters on glands and bones i'm going to have a different rubrics of in general glands and bones the most important part of this repository is the fever chapter the fever chapter is divided into different different sub chapters and different different chapters also the first we will have a sub section of a pathological fever where we will find a type of fever like bilious catarrhal cold gastric hectic fever etc after chapter fever we will have a chapter of blood and circulation and in those in this chapter we will have a rubrics of chill and different kinds of circulations okay chill heat and sweat now this all three stages of fever is wonderfully described in this repertory with its sub parts so in this repertory under the chill chapter we will have a sensation of chill coldness and we will have a partial chill and partial coldness rubrics of partial chill and partial coldness followed by aggravation amelioration time modalities and the complete list of concomitant symptoms the concomitant symptoms are divided from different parts of body in anatomical region starting from head to lower extremities and a detailed list of concomitants related to every stage of fever we are going to have in this repertory and the last part of this fever totality or a fever chapters are or is compound fever compound fever is that where you are having a some intermingle stages of chill heat and sweat or where one stage is going to overpower the another stage and they are going to appear first instead of that particular stage okay last we have a in general time modalities aggravation in general related to a time the conditions of aggravation and amelioration in general means in this chapter we will have a list of general aggravation and general amelioration okay so here aggravation and amelioration are given with each other okay so in when we are Uh, referring the different chapters we will find the aggravation is a separate and amelioration is a separate entity but here in this chapter when we are locating a general aggravation and amelioration we have to find out the aggravation amelioration in one place only so one rubric like here air air cold in aggravation and is followed by amelioration okay air cold dry in aggravate and air cold dry amelorate so both the aggravation and amelioration we will find with each other in this chapter last is concordance chapter this is again a most unique chapters and this chapters no one is using very frequently in those in their clinical practice so here we will find total 12 or 13 different different uh, headings written under the every medicine and with every heading you will have a list of medicines okay so take up an example of this medicine aconite so it is having mind localities senses and glands bones skin sleep blood circulation fever time aggravation related remedies and antiquity so with the help of this information we are going to find out to which repertory is follow well which repertory is complementary and which repertory is not indicated for your case we have a separate list of antidote medicine also at last so if you want to antidote your prescription you can directly 
use this list or you can also use other data to find out a complementary or followable medicine for first prescription related to your totality of symptom okay this is another medicines arsenic same informations is given now utility of this repository when and uh, in which kind of cases we are supposed to use or we can use this repository now first is this repository is a compilation of uh, all the pioneering work of dr bonimson and those work is being uh, restructured and reconstructed in different uh, formula and in different manner to make the use of all those data easy in our practice okay so there is no question of authenticity or somewhat of a trust or faith in data of this repository next is which kind of cases we can use this repository the case which is having causative modalities or modalities the case with concomitant symptoms the case with pathological generals or diagnostic rubrics fever totality is a wonderful you can uh, use in this repository to tackle any kind of fever in your day to day practice and with the use of concordance chapter you can also use this repository in follow ups or to prescribe your second prescription Okay, so a case with a complete symptom, or having a more uh, mental general or physical general symptoms, in both cases you can use this repository very easily and beneficially. Now, why I call this thing as a beneficial bridge collaborative repository? benefits we had already discussed that this is the most important and reliable repository as it is containing the very raw information from our pioneers again it is a collaborative work of dr bonimson and you can most of the time use this repository in your day to day practice again this repository is uh, removing the errors of understanding of bonimson's work okay the works of bonimson were not having any errors but the how one particular person understands those work and how they are going to apply in their practice they are having some errors so this repository is going to remove that errors or rectify that errors this is a connecting media between materia and repository okay i suppose in the year of 1905 this is the first uh, repository which is containing the materia medica part and also the repository part okay so this is not just a repository it is also going to give you a some idea how we are going to understand and read the materia medica this is a connecting bridge between dr kant and dr bonimson's philosophies and most important thing is it is a connection between physician and the knowledge of homeopathic rules and regulations okay so that's all for this repository this is just a brief introductory part of this repository and, and any repository or any book is having lots of information and lots of practical aspects which is not possible to conclude in any one lecture or any one session etc so still this is just to, to make you understand that we have a one bridge we have a, we have one collaborative work which is also very uh, reliable and we can use this thing start using this repository in your practice or start learning this repository start understand this repository 
and try to get a more benefits from this repository you can give your suggestions or comments or any your uh, particular if you have any doubt you can ask me on my youtube channel or on my blog okay till then thank you thank you very much